May 27th, it's a big day for America's space mission. If the schedule holds, we will see the first manned mission to the International Space Station launched from U.S. soil since 2011. And it will also mark the first time a spacecraft built by a private company will take people into space. But the commander of this mission, Doug Hurley, has a special connection to New Orleans. Bill Capo and photographer Brian Lucas headed to Houston to talk with Hurley about the historic mission. So like you said, I would go ahead and get rid of this, get it out of your way. I think he said you can do that while ago. Putting on a spacesuit sure isn't like getting dressed at home. NASA astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin are practicing in the International Space Station module at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. And this, just for 1G, you can't just, you can go ahead and Lives practice. depend on getting every step right, and it's difficult when they're weightless. It's a lot harder to get in the suit on the ground. Once they're on orbit, though, the zero G, they can slide right into the suit and make it easy, but getting out is sometimes really hard. So it's, it's easiest to just kind of turn around okay. and then work your way down just like a normal ladder. Colonel Doug Hurley invited me into the space station airlock and told me what it's like to wear a spacesuit. It's bulky, it's heavy, it's pressurized inside so that you're working against the pressure. So after six hours, any of my experience has been you're pretty well tired after six hours. Of work. Hurley and Bankin are the first astronauts for America's next mission in space, the NASA commercial partnership with SpaceX and Boeing to launch astronauts to the space station for the first time since the space shuttle program ended. It was a sad day because that was the last one we were doing. We weren't going to make any more. I mean, we know we owe what we have with the shuttle program to the folks at Michoud. Never forget those uh, people who rode out the hurricane and literally saved the space station, space shuttle, and the human spaceflight program. I'm very excited, as I think most people would be, uh, and it's been quite a while. I, what I'm probably most excited about is renewing, being part of the, you know, renewing the capability of U.S. launches to, to low Earth orbit. Doug nine years ago when he was the pilot of the last space shuttle mission and he showed us what it was like to fly the shuttle. How much fun do you have when you're doing when you're in control of this machine? Oh it's it's it, you're just you have to pinch yourself sometimes because it's like I can't believe I'm flying the space shuttle. I'm the guy flying the space shuttle. How good is it to have Doug Hurley back here for the oh, next flight? Fantastic. Uh, you know seven years eight years ago I trained him as the last shuttle flight for EVA and now it's really good to get him back to go back as one of the first ones to go from the U.S. soil. How so good an astronaut is he? Oh, fantastic. They all are. How different is Crew Dragon from the space shuttle? Uh, I would say it's about as different as it could possibly be. Now Doug Hurley will be the commander of the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, and he says it's comfortable, roomy, very high tech with all mission data on three screens. They have uh, base displays and then they have some systems displays and emergency procedures and regular procedures and all that is accessed via the display. So it's all touch screen. The launch will be computerized, but the astronauts can fly the capsule when necessary. And they will do that on the first mission to test its capabilities. We'll do some maneuvering there just to make sure everything works the way it's supposed to, the controls. When I hit an up, the vehicle goes up. When I go down, it goes down, left, right. The capsule will parachute back to Earth, the first time for America since the Apollo program. How dangerous is spaceflight? And what are your thoughts? And what do you tell people about it? Well, I mean, like any other um, activity like this, it, it has its inherent dangers, just like when I fly jets, just when, like when we flew the shuttle. How comfortable are you with this flight? I'm very comfortable. I mean, we've had... You're not afraid? No, no. In fact, the astronauts have offered design advice to SpaceX on the capsule and the unique spacesuits they'll wear in it. It actually is very comfortable. With this flight. But Doug can't wait to make his third visit to the International Space Station, though being weightless the first time was a bit challenging. I didn't feel like eating for probably about a day. 
But now, Doug knows that even the simplest actions in space have consequences. Everything in space is kind of messy and not nearly as glamorous as I think people want to think it is, in the sense that everything that is on you, around you, or you consume, or put out of your body can end up anywhere in the space station, if that makes sense. That's a horrifying thought. Without getting too graphic. Still, the view just can't be beat. We were going over the southern lights. Uh, it was west of Australia, and it was a nighttime pass. And sitting in the cupola, I remember distinctly, you could see the ribbons of the aurora coming up, and we were flying through it. And I, I was like, this is, it felt like a movie. It felt like a science fiction movie. Doug Hurley's path to space really got a huge boost in New Orleans in 1988 when he graduated from Tulane University with a bachelor's degree in civil engineering, magna cum laude. But he was also in Tulane's Naval ROTC program. That led to him joining the Marines, becoming a fighter pilot, a test pilot, and 20 years ago, an astronaut. I can't begin to tell you the, just the start it gave me, and the city is part of that. Doug lives in Houston, but says New Orleans still feels like home. I mean, I still have close friends that live there. Uh, in fact, I got a text from him, a couple of them the other day when it's like, when are you launching? When are we, you know? And so it's, So what's your message to New Orleans about this new mission uh, and their connection to it? There'll be something from New Orleans on that on that spaceship. And of course, you know, the- 40, You taking some boiled crawfish up there? Uh, we have a rule on Dragon, no fish. Uh, <laughs> From Johnson Space Center in Houston with photographer Brian Lucas, I'm Bill Capo, Eyewitness News. Hurley and Banken are expected to stay at the space station between one to four months before they return on Earth to Earth on the Crew Dragon. After that, Crew Dragon is expected to begin regular missions to bring astronauts and supplies to the space station. Boeing is also working on a capsule for space station missions and the Starliner is still being tested. We wish them luck.